Well, you can say this much about Donald Trump. He's never dull. Ever since he entered the presidential race, he's inspired excitement and controversy. The latest row erupted at a conference of religious conservatives in Iowa. A successful businessman seeming to pick a fight with a respected senator. He hit me. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured, okay? You can have, and I believe perhaps he's a war hero, but, but right now he said some very bad things about a lot of people. John McCain broke both his arms and his leg when his plane was shot down over Hanoi. He spent more than five years as a prisoner of war, two of them in solitary confinement. He was also tortured. So how did Donald Trump's fellow presidential hopefuls react to his comments? Former Texas Governor Rick Perry said his attack on veterans make him unfit to be commander-in-chief and he should immediately withdraw from the race. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal said after Donald Trump spent six years in a POW camp, he can weigh in on John McCain's service. And Jeb Bush said, enough with the slanderous attacks. All our veterans, particularly POWs, have earned our respect and admiration. So far, no response from John McCain. Previously, though, he accused Trump of firing up the crazies, and Trump has called him a loser. This is a feud that's unlikely to die down anytime soon. Tim Ullman, BBC News.